So let's talk about a, a CMA, a comp, a market analysis, all the same thing. Uh, that is where we look at all the properties that have sold around your property that are similar to yours. Sometimes this can be extremely difficult, especially in the market like we have right now where there's just not a lot of things that have sold. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get good numbers. Sometimes it's super easy. There's 10 houses that were just like yours that sold in the last six months or year. Uh, we like to do numbers off six months, but we'll go back a year if we need to. Now, the closer they are to yours, the better. You know, there's tons of factors that go into this and every house is unique and different and that will affect its value and what we want to price it at. Uh, but that then will give us a jumping off point. So we will measure yours, condition and appearance and all of that up with similar properties that we uh, are competing with, will be competing with. Um, one thing that's really nice to do is once we get our CMA and kind of figure it out, it's nice sometimes to go look at the other properties in the neighborhood that you're going to be competing with and see how they measure up to yours in real life. Because as you all know, if you've done some uh, shopping to buy a house, the pictures that are on the internet are sometimes less than accurate, we'll say. You get there and you're like, it doesn't look anything like this in the pictures. This is way bigger or this is way smaller, which is generally the case, or boy, it looks beautiful and in real life it's kind of ugly there's so many things that go into what the house looks like on the internet that sometimes it is worth it to go take a visit to your neighbor's houses and see how they stack up before we price yours and then we'll take all that into account come up with where we want to market it at and then move on to step two